Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Good morning. I'm sitting on the couch trying to get worked up to go outside. It's cold and I need to rearrange the stuff in the van and get stuff loaded. Tomorrow it's supposed to snow all day. So I need to get it done today because I was going to do my taxes today and then go do that. And I guess I'm flip-flopping my days. So I'm going to go do that, do my taxes. Oh, I got to turn fluffy around. I can't see. Um, I forgot that we put a bunch of stuff from dad's in the front seat of Fluffy. So there's like stained glass right here. I got to take the picket. Oh. Let's get her turned around because I need to get through this today. I am wearing a balaclava, gloves, the warm coat. My coat's not warm. So like I have my lady coat where if I'm going to be just driving some from place to place, but it's not warm. Uh, yeah, so I'm not actually good at backing up. I had to get good at backing up with mirrors uh, when I got the van. Oh, do not hit the victorious car. Do not hit the victorious car. Do not hit the victorious car. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay. Hey, everybody. All right. So now I'm going to go out in the cold. I got leather gloves with fur. Every time I lose a glove, I lose the left glove. So I have a bunch of right hand gloves and one leather left glove. I got nothing. I don't know. I am going to, uh, did he come get the race car already? Maybe he did already. Um, oof, stuff. Let me get this, get this stuff unloaded. I gotta get all this stuff out of here. That's not going to Jug Bonanza. That's all Easter stuff. I could, I could grab that and take it to, uh, Vintage Junkie, though. So let's get that out. It's so cold. I don't want to. I don't want to. It'll be warm next week when I got to go. That's not when I want it warm. I'd rather have it cold next week when I'm unloading since it's all sweaty. I don't want to stand out here. The wind is whipping. It's freezing. <sighs> this is terrible. This is the work part of my job. Got a bunch of Christmas stuff in here. That doesn't need to be in here. I gotta get out what's not going to Vintage Junkie. Clearly the broken hair dryer lamp is not going to... Or not Vintage Junkie, Junk Bunny. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know anymore. <laughs> so I got all the pieces that are coming out. Out. And that's in there is going. And now I gotta figure out, uh, first of all, I gotta find a home for all this stuff that's coming out. Wind. It's ugly out here. That's because the snow's moving in and it's really cold. I'm really glad I'm wearing all these layers. I'm getting sweaty on my torso, but my hands are frozen. My face is frozen. <sighs> this is work. And then next week it's supposed to warm up. It's like, really? Could have been warm this week and then we could have, you know, flip-flopped. No, no. So there were some pieces like these wonderful, I don't even know what they are. <laughs> Balisters or, I don't know, that I picked up at the St. Cloud show. Those have to come or go in, but they got to get priced. So I figure out what I might charge for those. I don't know, they're pretty awesome. Thinking a high price on those. 
thoughts? Weigh in down below in the comments because sometimes I'm like, uh, how much would I charge for this? Because I've never had anything like that before. Oh, and then I've got to get all the garden stuff, including the Greek statue in there. And priced. Well, I ain't getting done with me standing here, so let's just do it. I have a couple pins, pins, bins to bring in to repack because there's stuff in them I don't want to take. And, uh, I promised myself if I get them all in and get it all done, which you can see the door is closed, she is probably going to have to ride with my husband. I promised myself if I got all that done, I got it all ready to move the stuff that's in the house out, I could have Taco Bell today. So I'm going to have a soft taco for lunch. I, that's it. That's how I'm rewarding myself for this. You know, maybe tomorrow if I get my taxes done, I will indulge in a Starbucks. We'll see. So I decided to stop and get a haircut and I didn't get what I wanted. I don't want hair on my neck, right? So I want it up and I still have hair on my neck and, I, and, I, and now I need to color my hair because look at all the gray. And it's already too effing long. And I told her I, I need it shorter. You don't want it shorter, you'll look like a man. I I do want it shorter. I want it shorter. <sighs> Maybe when I fix it, it'll be fine. But look how gray I am, oh my God. Oh, it's awful to get the hat back. At least it won't be fluffy out the back for freaking the show. I, this was killing me. This, all the crap that the cow lick just sticks out. No matter what I do, now at least that won't stick out, but I'm not happy with the top at all. And I had to pick up Victoria so I'd have time to argue with her. And she's just like, oh, you don't want it too short. You'll look like a man. And I'm like, I also don't want it too long because then I can't fix it at all. Because my hair won't do. It needs, it needs more. She put crap in it and it's already fallen over. Y'all, should have just got my taco and let it be. Okay, we have some unfinished business with the Wonder Horse. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, up on my community tab, so you go to my uh, channel, go to the community tab, there's a poll about what her name's gonna be. So we gotta name her before we can sell her. But I gotta tell you, you know, you guys give me helpful suggestions so many times. But the other day I got this comment and it made me go, oh, a medallion or a mold, right? And then I thought, conchos. I actually got saddle conchos to put on the horse. <laughs> Here's the large one, which fits perfectly over that hole. And then there's a medium and a small hole that fit over the temple one and the bit. I'll show you guys those too. Hang on. So there's the medium one and the smaller round ones. So these are actual saddle conchos. So they will fit the aesthetic we've got going on. It's not going to look weird. Like if I put um, molding from, I was going to make a piece and, and seriously, my brain was like, gotcha. So I went, oh, gotcha. And that was it. I was on Amazon looking for conchos. Uh, we gotta get some conchos on her. 
me get it down. Okay, the only problem that I can see is that this is a very smooth surface. So I'm going to use 80 grit sandpaper and make sure that there's something for the glue to bite into here. So anytime you have a little texture for glue to sit in, it's a better idea. I may even hit just around the hole a little bit where the glue is going to go just to make sure that our concho doesn't just pop off while it's sitting there like a ghost ran by and just yanked it off. Super glossy surfaces don't like to stick. So I just scratched it up. Can you see it? A little bit. Um, this screw would be what they use to put it on the saddle with. I'm just leaving it in there because it serves no purpose for me. I don't know. And I've got my trusty little Gorilla Glue. Oh, I do want to do this. Hang on. I almost forgot what I said. I was getting excited. I want to glue it on. And since it's really close to the edge, I'm just going to do a quick around the edge here. And I've got clear Gorilla Glue. Somebody posted in the comments that uh, I, my Gorilla Glue, I did that video on the clear Gorilla Glue. Was it clear Gorilla Glue? I don't know, but they were complaining that it takes too long to dry. I, I don't actually manufacture this stuff, you know. Just using it. And I guess the dry time didn't bother me, so... <laughs> I'm not actually in charge of manufacturing. So you're going to have to file your complaints with Gorilla Glue. I have some popsicle sticks. I want to make sure and get this smoothed out here on here. I don't need it to be dripping out everywhere. I just need a layer of glue. Maybe I'll care about the dry time when I do this because I'll have to hold this concho in place until it sticks. Okay, got me a layer of glue on there. Just a thin layer of glue around the outside. Well, I'm not so concerned about the dry time. <laughs> Maybe it'll slide off if I leave it. I don't know. It seems to be sticking fairly well. Oh my gosh, it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that suggestion. That's amazing. Oh my goodness sake. Oh, that's amazing. Maybe I should lay it on its side. Oh, there we go. That'll make it easier for it to dry. Let's get the other concepts on. Let's get the rest of it done. I'm so excited. Okay, they're on. They gotta dry. I'm sure it'll take way too long, but they gotta dry. So they're uh they're just I love when things work. <laughs> If they stick, it's going to be great. Um, I'm very excited about this. I'm very excited with how it looks. So I always appreciate your helpful comments. When you give me helpful comments and not comments like the glue takes too long to dry. I appreciate that. Um, because even though it wasn't exactly what you suggested, suggested, I wouldn't have got to this. I don't think. I think it would be better. It would have taken me much longer. And it probably would have been after Junk Bonanza and I would have gone, oh, you know what I should have done. So I appreciate it. I love when you guys give me hints and tips and things that make it easier and better. So I appreciate that. And I appreciated that comment because it was like, oh, like, oh, like all the angels were singing that day. I was like, I know what I'm doing. I couldn't get the Amazon fast enough, honestly. And they cost me $11. 
And I think there was like 7% off. So I didn't even have to pay the tax. It was awesome. For an extra $11, absolutely. Then I don't have to cut any dolls. I don't have to do anything like that. They look on point. They look like they should be there. I'm very happy. If they stick, I'll be even happier. Let's give it time to dry. Come back and do the other side. And give you a quick sneak peek of it laying down here. But those are the two on that. And those are on point. Like they are meant to be there. <laughs> they look amazing. Okay, so I had to take Victoria to archery tonight. They won state champions and the middle school, which Victoria's middle school, is not gonna be able to go because they didn't have they don't have enough money to send them. And I asked the coach what the fundraising was going to be for that, and he said um, fundraising, uh, so I'd need a parent to help with that. Well, I guess I'm going to have to raise $30,000 to get my kid to state, my kid's team to state. I don't know how to do that. Anyone out there in my YouTube community that knows a, a Coca-Cola executive, they could just give me $30,000 for this damn team or I don't know. I'm going to have to see about, I have to clear a GoFundMe with the head of the whatever part of the school that approves that stuff and uh yeah otherwise they're gonna be like yeah they're not going lord help me anyway i did go to the goodwill so i got a little haul here very little but you know what was it you know small and mighty you guys remember me talking about how i didn't have any ink whole package of brand new inks um some of them i think i don't know i don't know what color it is looks black looks like they're all black but you know i can finally stamp something with ink um i got a set of these these are the thermo syrup cups and they had orange yellow and two green i don't know why thermo syrup always has two green like not four different colors so I got that set and then I got this, an old wooden hardware ruler with a level and it says Howard Hardware on Dale Street in St. Paul, Minnesota. So this is a local thing and that can go to Junk Bonanza. I'm just, you guys, I'm just bent out of shape about this team thing. I don't, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to raise this kind of capital in this short of time because I have like days to raise $30,000. Any suggestions from my community would be much appreciated because I know you guys are a mighty group. So if you have any ideas on or know anybody, like seriously, if anybody knows Elon Musk or, you know, something like that, where they could just like write a check, that'd be great. Um, <laughs> I'm going to reach out to, I guess, some archery places tomorrow, some sporting goods store, you know, the CEO of Dick's Sporting Goods, call me. I'll make myself available. Even during Jug Manan's attack, yeah. Ay, yeah, yeah. She's going to come out crying. And I know in life there are letdowns, but that team worked so bloody hard to get here. And they've been number one through the years. So I don't know what the team was thinking. Like, well, the, the powers that be at the school weren't like, you know, we should maybe plan on sending them all. They just went, we can't send them all. So we're not going to try. You have to try. You know, and my husband's like, oh, I don't know, Stacy. Uh, that's a lot of money. And I'm like, yeah, but we haven't tried. And I don't believe you can tell me that I shouldn't try. You know, it's like. I don't know. I got to come up with something. We're going to come up with something, right? I don't know. Salt Lake City, here we come. There's got to be a way. There has to be a way. All right. All right, all right. We're going to figure it out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up.
Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course more Junkin videos.